Hi, hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Veronica and I'm a big lover of makeup. So if you want to see more reviews, looks and more fun videos, don't forget to subscribe. In today's video, we are going to talk about makeup that's very tempting, even though I'm on a low buy. So if you're curious about that, please keep on watching. First things first, I didn't film this makeup, but I will list down below everything that I have on my face. And I have a low buy and I will link down below the playlist with the low buy. So I have in here a lot of products that are really tempting me, even though I'm on a low buy, but I'm not gonna cheat. I'm gonna try my best and not buy any of these, but I do have in here two or three eyeshadow palettes. All of these products are tempting, but I'm not on a low buy on eyeshadows, but I maybe will pick them up in the near future. So I want just to talk about some newer releases. So let's start somewhere. I'm gonna pop some photos in here. The first one is the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer and I'm allowing myself to buy only one foundation in the next three, four months. So this one could be it. I heard some mixed reviews about this product so I'm glad that I didn't buy it. I really like Rare Beauty. I like the Illuminating Primer and the Mascara. I love those two products. I didn't test. Oh, and I like the lipstick, the red lipstick that I have. That one is amazing as well. I didn't test anything else, I think, but in general, I like how the brand looks and yeah, I really like Rare Beauty in general, but I'm glad that I didn't buy this tinted moisturizer. Next, let's talk about the two palettes that I want to buy. The first one is the ABH Nouveau palette, the newest one, and I'm gonna buy it. When it comes into Sephora in Romania, I will buy it. It looks so stunning. I really like the color story as well, but I said in a video in January or something like that, the next 10, 12 pen normal ABH palette, I'm gonna buy it. So I'm gonna buy this palette. It looks so nice. It's a more neutrally palette, but it has that pop of um, purple and the pop of green camo color. I really like the color story. It looks very interesting and I really want to buy that one. And the next one is the new Pat McGrath mini palette. I never tested Pat McGrath formula, so I think this could be my first one because it's only $29. Only $29 is still pretty expensive, but for Pat McGrath prices in general, it is very, very cheap. <laughs> but I like the color story as well. It's pretty neutral and simple, but it's with purples. But sadly, this is limited edition and I don't want to order from the Pat McGrath uh, site. So if this one will be available at Sephora at some point in the future, I will buy it. But right now I'm not gonna order from uh, US just for this palette. But it's a very beautiful small palette. So I really like the color story and everything. So if this will be available, I'm gonna buy it. But I'm very happy that Padma Graf decided to have a more affordable palette. And yeah, if this will be available, I'm gonna buy it. The next product that's very tempting is the new, again, <laughs> Pat McGrath uh, blushes. They look so beautiful. I don't think this brand is really for me because it's pretty expensive. And I know that the products that they have are very, very talked about and very popular and they are in general good quality. So at some point I will try one, two, three products from them. And I am interested in the brand in general, but these blushes look so great, but I'm on a no buy on blushes. I have way too many blushes. I heard that the blush formula from Pat McGrath is amazing, but I am on a no buy, so I'm not gonna buy them, but they look so stunning. I love that one with purple and a peachy shade. Looks so beautiful, <laughs> but anyway, I'm not gonna buy it even though it's so beautiful. Next we have the Charlotte Tilbury bronzers and I will add in here the blushes from Charlotte Tilbury as well, the cream ones. Because I did film the Battle of the Cream blushes and I was this close, this close to purchase the Charlotte Tilbury cream blush as well. But then I decided that it's too expensive, that I don't need it and I'm not gonna buy it just for the video. So... Yeah, I didn't buy it and I'm very happy that I didn't do that because it's so expensive and I have enough blushes. So 
don't need it don't need the bronzer either but they look so beautiful i love the packaging and after buying the beautiful skin foundation i just have my eyes on charlotte tilbury a lot more don't need them so i'm not gonna buy them but they look great so yeah i need to mention them in this video next one is the natasha Denona hygiene primer this one oh my god natasha Denona is one of my favorites brand mainly for eyeshadows but i like it in general the aesthetic and everything but this one again it's a primer i don't need it it's so expensive and yeah so don't need a new primer right now i do have enough i'm on a low buy on primers so i'm allowing myself to buy only one in the next three four months and yeah this will not be it and in the same idea i have the nabla primer and this looks so stunning and i love the packaging with the purple accents so beautiful you know you know that i love purple but i still <laughs> don't need it so i'm not gonna buy this one either i think this is a bit more uh, affordable but still don't need it it looks great but i'm not gonna buy it next we have the new giant range from benefit the blushes and they look so nice i hate that packaging i hope at some point in the future they will decide to leave it in the past and move on and create other kind of packaging because there are in this world other types of packaging so yeah don't like the packaging but the colors and the prints and everything they look amazing and this is actually available at my sephora right now so i want to no buy on blush and bronzer don't need them i have way too many so yeah but they look great except the packaging next we have the be perfect and makeup by alina and this is a giant palette very interesting thing i just discovered makeup by alina on instagram and then one week after that they were releasing this palette she creates some amazing looks and she is so beautiful this palette looks amazing but it's so ginormous why be perfect it's still releasing these giant palettes they have i think some smaller ones but from what i remember they were very neutral i really like the be perfect formula it's so good and i have the giant carnivore 3 palette but i'm not reaching for that palette that much first because it's old so i did use it a lot but second just because it's so giant to reach for it i need to take five palettes put them aside take my um, be perfect palette and then put the five palettes back into my drawer so this is too many shades don't need it i hope that at some point they will release smaller palettes with interesting color stories and i would be more than happy to buy those next we have the huda beauty for filter concealer and this looks nice but now that i'm thinking about it the foundation is the foundation is very very full coverage so do i want a very full coverage concealer don't think so so maybe talking about it will make me not want it anymore but in this um, category as well let's talk about the new Too faced concealer i'm gonna pop a photo this was just announced like a bit ago i don't know when this video will be posted maybe for sure for sure a bit later but anyway when i'm filming this the Too Faced concealer is just really uh, is just announced i'm on a low buy on concealers and i'm allowing myself to buy only two i already bought both of them i bought the nyx concealer and the uh, nars concealer in a mini so considering that the nars one is in a mini and i could use that one up pretty fast maybe i could buy another one i don't know the Too Faced concealer looks so nice i need to maybe see it in store or i don't know but maybe i'm gonna buy the Too Faced concealer i know that Too Faced can do really good concealer the born this way concealer i think it was called it was amazing i love that concealer i still own a mini of that concealer in a darker shade than my uh, skin tone just to mix in and it's so great so I am very interested in the Too Faced concealer so if I'm seeing it in store and it looks great 
maybe I'm gonna buy it. Next we have this thing. When I saw it, I was like, what is that? I want it. <laughs> That's my, that was my first reaction and I still don't know what that is. Even though I saw one or two reviews on it, I still don't know what it is. I didn't say what it is. It's the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin. So this is a primer, foundation and powder in one something like that so weird product i don't think i'm gonna buy it i don't think i can buy it i don't know if it will be available at cult beauty but yeah, i'm not gonna buy it it's very weird but my first reaction was like what is that i want it <laughs> but yeah i'm not gonna buy it even though it's a very interesting product then we have these nyx products the wonder sticks I'm giving up. When NYX is releasing something, I will decide that I'm gonna buy it first and then I'm gonna see if it's in my range of um, low buy. Because at some point I'm always ending up buying some NYX releases. They are practically my favorite drugstore brand or affordable brand. So I just bought the eye paint. I'm wearing it today. I will include it in a speed review. And I purchased the clear butter gloss as well. So I'm always purchasing from NYX. So yeah, this Wonder Sticks, I'm on a no buy, like I said, a thousand times on bronzer and blush. So I'm not gonna buy them, but <laughs> they are still intriguing and yeah, very tempting, but I'm not gonna buy them. Even though <laughs> NYX is one of my favorite brands, I'm not gonna buy it. And the last products that I have for this video are the color block palettes from Huda Beauty. So I was really planning to buy the purple and orange one, but then someone, I think Morgan Turner, did film a video on both of these and I just decided to watch it. Usually it's not great to watch a video before reviewing a product, but sometimes I'm still doing it just because I don't want to buy horrible product if I can dodge a bullet and uh, sometimes I still could have a totally different opinion than others I'm just telling you my real opinion so I did watch a video on these two and actually the purple and um, orange one was the dad so the other one looked great but I was wanting the purple and orange not the other one because blue is not my favorite eyeshadow color so I decided to skip on both they look nice but always these nine pens from Huda they are not great why can't she do just the normal great formula from the bigger palettes in the smaller ones sometimes they are not too great so I'm very happy that I did skip on them okay so this was everything as a conclusion I'm gonna buy the ABH one at some point the Pat McGrath palette if it's available at my Sephora. I will buy it. And what else? The Too Faced Concealer. If it looks amazing and it's available in my Sephora and I could see it sometime soon, maybe I'm gonna pick it up, but we are gonna see. I'm very happy with my no buy and low buy right now, so I don't want to buy anything else. And yeah, so if you like the video and you want to see more from me, please subscribe and give it a like and I will see you next time.